we've seen one example of the substitution method with a unique solution. My next two examples I want to look at um, involve solutions with infinitely many and also no solution. Uh, so starting off with our first example, um, again we want to solve one of the equations for one of the variables. I'm going to be consistent and solve for y with my first equation. When I solve for y, I subtract x from both sides. And then I'll need to divide by 2. Divide everything by 2. This will give us y equals 3 halves minus 1 half x. And now I substitute 3 halves minus 1 half x into the y in the second equation. And this will give us 2x plus 4 times 3 halves minus 1 half x equals 6. And now we follow the same procedures as uh, we did in the other example. We distribute 4 times 3 halves. This will equal 6. 4 times negative 1 half x is negative 2x. And now notice what happens with the variable terms. We have a 2x and a minus 2x. Those cancel out. And all we're left with is 6 equals 6. Anytime where both variables cancel and we're left with two numbers that are equal to each other, if the numbers are equal, 6 does equal 6, this means that we have infinitely many solutions. Um, and so our answer is infinitely many solutions. It's a dependent system. And WebAssign, when you're entering in your answer, they still want the answer in terms of an ordered pair. So this is how you would write this in WebAssign. Uh, and they give you some directions on that, but they want you to write the ordered pair in terms of t instead of x. So the first answer in the ordered pair would be t. It's always going to be t in an infinitely many solutions example. And the second answer in the ordered pair is coming back up to what y equals. If you solve for y, then you would just write in 3 halves minus 1 half, still using t instead of x. So the ordered pair is t comma 3 halves minus 1 half t when you're putting it into WebAssign. And now for the second example, we are still doing the same thing. Uh, and I'll be consistent and solve for y. I'll do that by subtracting 3x from both sides. And now I will need to divide everything by negative 2. And this gives me negative 5 halves plus 3 halves x because the negative 3 divided by negative 2, the negatives cancel, leaving you with the positive. Then again, I will substitute negative 5 halves plus 3 halves x into y. So 6x minus 4 times negative 5 halves plus 3 halves x equals 2. And after we distribute, and combine like terms, 6x minus 6x again cancels. And this time we are left with 10 equals 2. In this case, 10 does not equal 2. So this means that we have no solution. And when you're entering this answer in the WebAssign, they still have the ordered pair, but you would just write no solution in both spaces for your ordered pair.